you are dealing with an individual who appears to have a history of psychological problems. I'm going to find a rock uh, just under the water. Yeah. That is regarded as... I just saw it and it went. ...as if he had been a member of some kind of organisation. I think there are two answers. Oh, that again? One of them is Gunnell. Certainly that's the national conversation that's going on here at the moment, really. Should there have been something more that was done to the rent? Someone like somebody who we know has undergone psychological treatment. He's done know, what I said. What? Well, sat on a rock. Well, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah, that it's that stock, stock still and uh, head, his head high up. Out of the water. The police, the supply of weapons no, like that that enables the government's hands uh, on that semi-automatic oh, no, pistol. Again. But part of the wider conversation here is about the government's response because remember they've already had an attack here in the past. So that wasn't very far from here, in the same uh, area of Bavaria, uh, on a train, uh, and they were attacking uh, people, some of them still physically injured, attacking them uh, with an axe before being shot dead by police. After that, the government here did come in for some criticism about their security policies, and we know that after the attack here happened Well, they might be quite a distance, distance away, but it's just so uh, unusual to uh, see them at this time of year. Yes, I did. Andrew, thanks very much for joining us. Now, here, hundreds of people have been forced to spend the night in their cars, trapped in huge tailbacks outside the port of Bilbra. Some motorists have been stuck in traffic for up to 14 hours because of extra security checks being carried out by French authorities. This morning, P&O ferries are reporting delays of up to five hours on the A20, and Kent Police are warning that the disruption could continue into tomorrow. Ben Land reports. The big getaway that became the big standstill.